Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be talking about Radio Raw 2, which is made by Lutron. I'm going to tell you a little bit how Radio Raw 2 works, and then I'm going to go over the pros and cons of using Radio Raw 2. So by the end of this video, you should have a pretty good grasp on this technology and whether you want to use this for your lighting or shades in your automation system or not. So to start out is we're going to tell you how Radio Raw 2 works. Radio Raw 2 is a wireless technology that utilizes a low megahertz. Now, it's a very solid wireless technology. It's, with that low megahertz, it's good for going through walls. So what you have is a main repeater, main repeater, and that main repeater has RS-232. So Lutron's really good for lighting, um, but it's not gonna do security. So with that RS-232, you might wanna think about interfacing it with a different controller to do your security or if you're doing uh, you know, your own touch screens or something like that. So keep that in mind that that main repeater does have RS-232. Now that main repeater has a circle of 30 feet that is going to connect with all the devices. Now Lutron has pretty, it says it's pretty much a guaranteed 30 feet from these devices. Um, so you can kind of bet it probably will do about 40 or 50 feet uh, and it will go through. It's very reliable of going 30 feet from that main repeater. So you'll have all your devices in here. Now, if you have a larger home, you're going to need what's called an auxiliary repeater. And that auxiliary repeater is you are going to put that 60 feet from the main repeater and that auxiliary repeater will do another circle of 30 feet. Now, talking to one of the main engineers at Lutron, that auxiliary repeater is actually stronger than the main repeater. So keep that in mind. Now, you are limited to four auxiliary repeaters. But that is, uh, that's a pretty large home that you can cover. So you've got your main repeater and then four auxiliary, up to four auxiliary repeaters. Now you can do more, but uh, it requires different licensing or software. So that's a little bit how Lutron works. It is different than uh, Z-Wave or Zigbee, where it's not a mesh network. What it does is it, everything is sent from that main repeater to all the devices. It doesn't rely on those devices to process that signal and retransmit it, which has a lot of benefits. And we'll go over those in just a little bit. So after a brief explanation of how the technology works, let's go over the pros and cons. So first we're going to go over the cons. Uh, I would say the biggest con with Ready R2 is price. Uh, Radio Raw is a uh, it's, it's a great technology, but uh, keep in mind Lutron's the one that does produce it. They're very proud of it, and it can it can be pretty pricey. So you're looking at dimmers depending on which dimmer you do, anywhere from $129 up to $249, depending on which dimmer you do and then who you get it from. So the biggest probably the biggest one and why people steer away from Lutron is uh, price. They don't want to spend you know $200 per dimmer in their divide in their house. Uh, the next one is uh, you need to be a dealer with Lutron in order to get their software to program the uh, Radio Raw 2 devices. Now, if you know a, de a dealer, you know it's possible to do it yourself, but uh, being a dealer, it, it is all proprietary and it's, uh, it's really not made for do it yourselfers. They want dealers to come in and install that. Um, if you are an integrator, it's very easy to become a dealer. Um, just get with Lutron and do that. You have to do some online courses and then take a test and then you get certified to use their software. Uh, the next one is, is limit, you're limited on devices. Uh, being from uh, Lutron, it's, uh, you know, it's a proprietary technology. So it, they have really good light switches, uh, occupancy sensors, shades, everything like that. But what you're not gonna get is you're not gonna get like locks and a whole bunch of stuff that Zigbee or thermostat, oh, they do have a thermostat, a Honeywell thermostat uh, that Honeywell produces for them. But you're very limited on devices because whatever devices they have is coming from Lutron. Now you can interface with other devices, but you are going to need to 
plug that main controller RS-232 to another controller and use ZigBee, Z-Wave, or UPB or whatever devices you want to use on that. Um, so I, I think these are the biggest cons with Lutron. So just keep that in mind. Uh, some of the pros. Probably the biggest pro is reliability. And I always apologize for my handwriting and my in my videos uh i've been working with uh, lutron for quite a while uh, and it, it, it is extremely reliable technology so you can pretty much uh guess that you are going to get 30 feet from that main repeater and then those auxiliary repeaters and the technology it works and it works well and it doesn't have very many problems and so it uses that lower bandwidth. Uh, there's not many RF technologies that do interfere with it, and um, it seems to work very well. So the uh, so the next pro, uh, which Lutron is very proud of, is uh, colors. And what I mean by colors is you have uh, I believe it's 37 different colors you can choose from with the dimmers and the wall decors. So interior designers love that. Um, me personally, you know, you've got your three main with other other technologies. You've got your white, light almond, ivory, and almond. Uh, but if you want to use, you know, a whole bunch of different colors, Lutron's definitely a good solution for that. Now, the other one is uh, just Lutron. Lutron has uh, been in the lighting industry for quite a while. Uh, it's it's got a very solid name, so uh, you you know you're backed by a really good manufacturer. But just keep in mind that uh, Lutron did have Radio Raw One, and uh, it, it did not work very well. So then they released Radio Raw Two. So just just keep that in mind that you are you are you know stuck with a manufacturer. So if they do decide to release like a Radio Raw Three or something like that, um, most likely it's not going to be compatible with Radio Raw Two because. Radio Raw 1 was not compatible with Radio Raw 2, uh, but with Lutron, you are with a uh, very solid manufacturer. So this is just a real brief video of Radio Raw 2. It's a, it's a very solid technology. Uh, you, you know, it is pretty expensive. You're limited on devices. You can interface it with different controllers. So I uh, hope this helps and helps determine whether you want to use this technology in your home or not. Uh, please ask any questions below. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to get to them. Thank you.